there's drama going on behind the scenes of Miraculous Ladybug, and voice actors are getting the short end of the stick. Again. Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir started in 2015 and has since become an animated phenomenon across the world. While I've never been personally interested, I've seen it get a ton of attention online and it's still really popular right now. Anyway, today's news isn't just a problem with Miraculous, it's a problem with the industry. Just to give you some context, a few voice actors from the show have revealed that they won't be playing their characters anymore. Why? As always, with this kind of thing, the answer lies in dollar signs. Here's an explanation from Joe Ackman, voice of the mayor. Uh, but four years in, I have some sad news, which is that I am most likely going to be replaced for season five. It would appear that's what's happening because it came down to a contract thing. Uh, you know, the show is so successful. It's the most amazingly successful show I've ever worked on, but it pays me the least of any show I've ever worked on. So uh, I, uh, and I know some other people did this too. We asked for a, a modest raise in our pay and we're, and we're told no, that we can't do it. And that uh, if we didn't go stay at the same rate, then we would be replaced. Now, let's hear from Reba Burr, voice of Rose, Julika, and Gina. Production has gone out of their way to divide the cast by giving other people different rates and then making them sign NDAs to promise they won't talk to us about how much they make, which is not normal. So I told them that I needed a raise, a very reasonable raise, and they refused, and I refused to jump onto season five without that raise, and so they said that they will recast me. And finally, here's Anne Yetko, voice of Sabine Chang. Um, basically what it is, is that I disagreed with how production was handling rate negotiations. And I, I honestly really felt that like the actors, especially the ones who had been with on this show for like four seasons, deserve rates that were commensurate to shows that are like it. Uh, they should be paid rates that are, are, are seen on shows just as popular as Miraculous Ladybug. All of these actors being replaced are obviously because of the same reason, low pay. As disappointing as it is, it's also not really surprising. Voice actors in general aren't treated the best in the industry, and companies will try to pay them lower than what they're worth. Now on a more positive note, this situation got big enough for the developer of Miraculous, Jeremy Zegg, to post a tweet for the first time in five Five years. Dear Miraculers, thank you very much for letting me know about the dubbing situation in the USA. We have many partners who are in charge of voice recording all over the world. I'll take care of it, and I'll do my best to fix the problem urgently. Merci. Jeremy Zag. There's an easy solution here. Pay the voice actors more. It sounds like Jeremy's gonna try and make that happen, which is cool. As for right now, remember to appreciate the people who lend their voices to animated characters. They're kind of underappreciated, and they put in a lot more work than you think. Let's cross our fingers. This has a happy ending. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.